Moray eels are often seen as nasty and aggressive monsters with a poisonous bite. But are they really that? Do they really have a taste for human flesh as was believed in ancient Rome? I bet they also have a more mysterious and softer side to them. Let's find out. I have come to Koh Phi Phi, a small island in Thailand, to meet up with my trusted friend Klaus Orlik. I have known Klaus since I was a little girl and he certified me when I was old enough to dive. The Poseidon takes us to Koha, a small island in the Similan archipelago. After an eight-hour boat ride, we finally arrive. We are ready to go. The reefs of Similan are famous for the lush flora and fauna. Giant moray eels live here. They can grow up to 9 feet and weigh up to 154 pounds. The bite of these giants can be very painful and lead to bad infections, but Klaus knows what he is doing. These moors are usually calm. As long as they're not cornered, they stay cool. They're usually even quite relaxed amongst each other. The blood of all 100 moray species is poisonous and has to be heated up to more than 167 degrees Fahrenheit to become harmless. The Moris are curious and are checking out Gung and Klaus. Giant Mora eels get used to people quickly, but now they want to be alone again, and they make that very clear to the cameraman. Most scientists claim that these giant Moris are loners, but they are obviously not. They like to be with each other. The couple starts their mating dance. Only few divers have been able to observe this courtship. Close by, true masters of camouflage, scorpion fishes. These wide-eyed mora eels are currently disturbing their peace. And now they're even going after these lion fishes. The scorpion fish is not willing to give up his spot, but it is getting increasingly agitated. Now the moris even start fighting with each other. The scorpion fish is surprisingly calm because one sting of its sharp poisonous spines would be enough to kill these pesky little whirlwinds. A rare visitor from land. A water monitor is swimming from one island to the next. This female ghost moray has never seen such a strange reptile swimming by. Right past these beautiful soft corals, we find a fimbraided moray eel hunting in the reef. It caught a nice sized fish. Prey is plentiful around here thanks to the plankton rich water that flows through the Similan Islands with the tidal current, the basis of food for many reef inhabitants. Maybe this moray bit off a little more than it can chew. Mealtime is always very exciting. Everybody tries to get as much as they can. And if something doesn't sit well, Morris have no problem throwing it up. And although it doesn't look like it, these two are actually in love. Foreplay with sharp teeth and a killer look in their eyes. Only a moray would find this attractive.
It is rare to watch giant moray eels during their courtship. We are very excited. How this love story ends will stay private. While I'm still in Thailand with Klaus, we sent another team to the Mediterranean. This is an area with a lot of fish farming. These giant nets in the middle of the water contain mostly mackerels and mullets and are stabilized with weights. These cages hang at about 90 feet. And right below in the reef, these mora eels have come to benefit from the giant land of milk and honey that hangs right above their heads. Tons of feed and dead carcasses are constantly raining down on them. A conger eel has come to join this lazy moray's paradise. Bored and overfed, our cameraman seems to be a welcome distraction. These highly sophisticated hunters have adapted and became clever gatherers. Despite all, neither the mores nor the conger eel have lost their innate spirit of discovery. This Mediterranean moray eel with the beautiful name Morena Helena has a dangerous bite. It can lead to serious injuries. In ancient Rome, unruly slaves were supposedly fed to these moray eels. The mores were kept as much-loved pets, adorned with earrings and necklaces. Every day, hundreds of snorkelers and divers come to Stingray City here in the Cayman Islands to feed the numerous stingrays that live in this bay. Moray eels are not only predators, but also clever opportunists. And these large green moray eels have come to rely on the steady stream of free food. And if a diver does not bring any, this is what happens. Luckily, I was not injured during this encounter and the animal only exhibited learned behavior. A moray eel's monsters was a taste for human blood? I highly doubt it. You be the judge. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the other films as well. And remember, always keep your fins wet.